This is Randy Swaim from Trimble MEP. Randy, so what's new in the MEP fabrication world? This is the new East Coast CAD that does fabrication for piping, plumbing, and HVAC. It's able to draw from a database with all intelligent parts, but it works inside of AutoCAD MEP. So it, if you come in here to draw with it, you can come in here and just take a look at a part. We'll just go ahead and click onto it. It has intelligent grips that when you grab a hold of that grip, but that knows the pipe, it knows the material, it knows the elevations. So you can just pull it right out of the pump right there and tell it that you want to put a flange onto the pump. So it's just asking you questions as you're modeling. If I want to change the elevation of that, I'll just say I want it to go up to nine foot elevation and just drag that over here and drop it out into the corridor. Once we come back here for that, we'll just say we want to come off the other pump now and we'll grab that grip. And all we're going to do is touch the pipe that we want it to connect to. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to ask us again for a flange type where it hooks to that pump. And I'm just going to go ahead and select that. But now it's looking how it can get from point A to point B with the fittings that we have loaded. So it's come up and it's showing me here that it's found 10 ways to get to, from point A to point B. I'm just going to type in N at the keyboard here for next and it'll toggle through the different methods based on the fittings I have loaded. That's the one I want. I just hit A for accept, and now that's drawn in. But the real payback for this is when we come over here and we go to start doing the fabrication, I'm gonna say I wanna create a new folder over here, and now I'm gonna rename this to be called Chill Water for My Spools. So I just type in the name. Now I'm gonna tell it I'm gonna define a spool. So I'm gonna say I wanna take all this and I wanna fabricate this up in my shop. So I just select that, now I can say, go ahead and generate me a spool drawing from this. And it's gonna go ahead and generate that spool drawing. And I can just say, now let's open that spool drawing. And now there, there's the spool. And so now we've got, if we wanna add dimensions to that, we can just come right back in here and say, we wanna go pipe dimensions all. That adds our dimensions to our spool. Same thing if we come back into our duct side. We come back over here and we wanna go ahead and start drawing some duct work. We can just come to our unit over here click onto our unit and we grab an intelligent grip. Now over here, I have my duct set up and I can say, okay, I wanna go immediately up to nine foot elevation just by typing that in at the keyboard. And I wanna take this duct and put it down onto the floor. So if I wanna get a transition on that, I'm just gonna go ahead and type in the sizes I want. And now I can go ahead and just route this duct work wherever I see that it needs to go. So I'm gonna follow the contours of the wall around. So I'm just gonna go to that point, maybe go on a 45 degree and then bring it back over this direction and now I'll transition back down. And we'll go ahead and we'll just stop that duct run right here. So once I end the command, it's gonna come back and break all this duct work down into your fabricatable sections and add all of your annotation to it. So it's gone ahead and taken care of all of your uh, minor work. If you have a short piece identified here, you can just click on it and say, no, I wanna add that to the throat of that elbow. And now that's absorbed the piece that you don't have to draw, you don't have to build. We can go ahead and do another one here by doing the same thing. Just grabbing the short piece there and saying, I want that to go to the elbow. Once that's done, we're gonna come back here and say, we're gonna number the duct. So as I go to say, I wanna number them. And we'll just go ahead and say, we wanna attach the numbers and we'll just go ahead and touch a piece. And it's applied numbers to all of that. So now this can be downloaded directly into your shop fabrication equipment to all your parts will be exploded into the blanks, nested and cut. And that's kind of an overview of the East Coast Cat.